What's up YouTube, Mike here with another video and today I wanted to do a video of this guy. They're Microsoft Surface headphones. Now, I've been excited about these. I've had them now for about a month and these are actually still kind of hard to get, but this is honestly the first, like, I guess, nice pair of over the ear headphones that I bought. Usually I buy like the cheap $20, $30 Amazon ones just because I really don't use um, over the ear headphones that much because um, when I use headphones, I like to use them to go to the gym, run, etc. And these, you know, it'd be like working out with earmuffs on. And uh, I just don't think it would be very conducive as far as uh, it'd be filling the things up with sweat and stuff. So I still use my AirPods for that. They are my favorite um, workout headphones. But when it comes to video editing, that's where I started using these things. So with that, let's kind of talk about what we get in the box of this. Now, I didn't do a fancy unboxing because more and more I think unboxings are kind of boring to be honest with you so to do a separate video kind of not that exciting but i already opened this thing obviously because i've been using it for about a month but this is what you get in the box you get this handy dandy case that it comes in and one negative about this is it is kind of a bulky configuration so this could take up quite a bit of room in your bag but um, it is very nice quality it's kind of like a suede and of course it's got the microsoft branding on the thing but the cool thing about this is it gives you a spot to store all of your uh, accessories when it comes to like your cables and stuff. So um, this, of course, in this, it's a place to store your headphones. So these actually will turn in to kind of fit in the storage mode, but we'll set that aside. You also get um, directions. So these are kind of like a quick direction card and it kind of tells you what everything is for on the device. And then, of course, you get a USB-C cable, and then also you get a um, aux cable. So if you want to go corded instead of wireless with these, you can do that. But these are actually kind of rubber band in the case, which is nice because they don't slide around. So I personally always use a wireless, so I haven't taken that out. And I've got quite a few USB-C cables now, so I haven't actually taken that out either. But it's a very nice case. It's definitely going to protect them. It's got some rigidity to it. And just like a soft kind of a microfiber on the inside so let's take a look at the meat and potatoes of this and of course that is the surface headphones themselves now, i will say reviewing headphones is kind of difficult because i can't really show you what they sound like and there's not really a way to i guess let you guys hear the sound of this so you're going to have to go to your local best buy or microsoft store and try these yourself but i will say um, the only thing i can really kind of compare them to is beats because um, um, for whatever reason a lot of the folks in my household like beats i personally do not like them i think they're overpriced but the sound quality i think is as good if not better than you know like a pair of beats or something so i am by no means an audio expert but for me i think they sound really good and is what attracted me to these was really kind of the interface on it. So on each side, you've got a dial and it's kind of reminiscent of the surface dial, but you turn it. So on the right side, and it tells you the instructions on here, this one will be for your volume. So you want to turn it up, you turn it right, you want to turn it down, you turn it left. And on this is actually your noise canceling. So the interface is just very intuitive. So compared to other headphones where you got to kind of find around for a button or something or use your phone to control these, you just grab it. It's a giant dial and it's just really easy. So I will have to say also that um, along with, I think the sound quality is really good. These are extremely comfortable. So um, I've got kind of a big nugget. So, um, and also these will adjust if you need to make them bigger but the padding on it is kind of like a very soft kind of uh, leather slash pleather. I don't know if it's real leather or not, but um, they fit over my ear with no problem. And uh, the longest I've worn this is for about two hours straight and didn't notice any issue whatsoever. They're very comfortable, extremely comfortable. And the noise canceling is also really good. So like I said, I'm, I can't compare it to like a Sony or something like that, but the noise cancel on this is actually active. So the cool thing is 
if I want to hear what's around me, I can turn it all the way to the back and it's going to amplify the noise in the room. So you, it actually helps you hear better. So I can still hear whatever I'm listening to on the headphones, but it's going to allow me to hear people talking or whatever. And then of course, on the opposite side of the spectrum, if you turn it all the way forward, it does a really good job of just isolating the noise around you. So um, really good. I have no complaints about that. Like I said, is what I've been using these for is when I do my video editing now. So um, very good quality and it just allows me to tune everything else out and just kind of focus on the sound of the video that I'm editing. And that brings me to uh, one of my favorite features about this also is it's kind of similar to uh, the AirPods in Apple's chip where you can pair it to multiple devices at once. And with this, it's the same thing. And it's honestly, I think it works better than the AirPods when it comes to if I want to switch to other devices. So um, I've got this paired to about four different devices. And all I have to do is I turn them on, I put them on and whatever I want to you know, I play YouTube or whatever, whatever device I play it on, it's going to automatically come through these, which is pretty impressive. And at the same time, it'll still be paired to my phone. So if I've got my phone and I'm listening to say YouTube on my iPad, I get a phone call, it'll automatically switch to the phone and I can pick that up using these because it's got a built-in microphone as well and go from there. So pairing this with multiple devices is actually very seamless and very easy to do so that is probably my favorite feature of these and one of the other big features that microsoft touts on this is built in cortana integration which honestly i really have used it like once or twice just to try it i just i kind of forget it's there but it does work you can use the hey cortana so for the two of you who might have a windows phone out there maybe i set it off but um you say those buzzwords it comes on and you do just like you would do on your phone or your PC, ask it the weather, whatever. And it actually works pretty good. Um, so the other thing, of course, like I said, you've got the dials on this thing, but each side is a touchpad and it doesn't matter what side, you know, if you double tap it, of course, it'll skip to the next track, play, pause, answer your calls. It's all done by tapping, but you can do it on either side. So it doesn't matter which side you do it on. If you tap on it, it'll control your phone or whatever device you've got. So this is also uh, able to be charged via USB-C, like I said, and it does do quick charging. So Microsoft advertises that a five minute charge is gonna get you about an hour of time as far as listening on the headphones, which is pretty damn impressive. So I've had these now for about a month and I've only charged them once. So. They advertise that you get about 15 hours of battery life on this. And honestly, I think that is fairly darn accurate. And to me, that sounds pretty good. So um, obviously, I'm not going to sit here and listen to it 15 hours straight. But um, the battery life has been really good. And when you turn this device on and you first put it on, it tells you what your battery life remaining is. So it'll say, you know, Cortana comes on and says, you know, 14 hours of battery remaining. So, um, all right. So other than that, like I said, the... Construction on these are very good, very high quality. And the price of these, right now, if you go on to Microsoft, is gonna cost you 349 bucks. So if you go to Best Buy, Microsoft, uh, it's gonna be 349. But when I bought these, I actually got them on Amazon and they were $50 off, so I got them for 300 bucks. And you can still go on Amazon and get these refurbished now uh, for even cheaper, or used, open box, whatever you wanna call it. But um, for some people that may sound kind of high, but which it is, but if you look at comparable headphones with this design, they all average around 350 bucks. You know, if you go to the Apple store and get a pair of Beats, you know, they're gonna be 350 to 400 bucks. So it's in the same price range as all those. And honestly, the quality justifies it. So um, it's just it, kind of a unique design. It's got like these hinges. And like I said, it looks like they took two surface styles and kind of sandwiched them together uh, and added a cushion, but um, they're fairly light and it's, it's, like I said, extremely comfortable. What else? Mm -hmm. 
So to be honest with you, I mean, there's not really a whole lot else I can say about these. I mean, there's really nothing negative about these that I found. I mean, like I said, I'm not a big audiophile. I don't do a lot of music type stuff. Um, I personally bought them to do video editing and just to be able to kind of isolate outside noise so I can hear the sound of the video. But um, very comfortable, cool design. My only and only complaint is just kind of a nitpicking thing. Whereas with the new Surface Pro 6 and Surface Laptop 2s coming out in black, I wish they would have released these with the option to get them in matte black. I just think it would have looked cooler, but um, that is literally my only complaint about these. So I definitely would recommend it. So if you have any questions on these, you want to know anything about them, again, shoot it in the comments below and I'll be happy to test it out or, you know, try and answer your question about it. But honestly, I have no complaints about these. So um, it's definitely a good product and I recommend it. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Thanks.